Good morning, uh, my name's Alice and I'm here today to share with you my personal experience of Newhall. Ten years ago, I was shy. I was painfully shy. I found it difficult to make friends or even talk to new people. So when my parents told me I was moving to Newhall, a Catholic boarding school far away from all of my friends and family, well, I was terrified. Yet despite my trepidation, the people here were so welcoming and so friendly that after all, I actually found myself making friends. Boarding was fun, so much more going on than I could ever do at home, and people were eager to help me settle in. And so this school, which seemed so alien to me when I first arrived, became anything but. It welcomed me into its community and became my second home. You see, the heart of Newhall is its community, its ethos and its people. The ethos creates a caring atmosphere here, and plenty of interaction between the year groups means that Newhall has a genuine community, despite being such a large school. The Willow Group is a great example of this, where students from sixth form help out in tutor groups for year sevens, eights and nines, providing any support they need from someone older, but sometimes more approachable than a teacher. Personally, I found the Reading Buddies a great experience, where students from the older years visit the prep school once a week to help the kids there improve their reading. But aside from the community aspect, Newhall has extracurricular activities in any number of areas. Over the years, I've done everything from oboe lessons to fencing club to dance shows and school plays. Although I can't say I've really took to the fencing, or any other sport for that matter, I'm grateful for the chance to try such a broad range of activities and find an interest in the debating club, where I've been lucky enough to go to both the Oxford and Cambridge debating competitions in the last few years. But, aside from the co-curricular activities, the teachers here are supportive, giving me and my classmates confidence in our work and inspiring us in our chosen subjects. If it wasn't for my Latin teachers, for example, I wouldn't have decided to do study classics at university, and I have them to thank for helping me in my application to study the subject at Oxford next year. I've always been encouraged to keep up anything I'm interested in, and over the years I've been able to take up philosophy as a fifth AS level, study ancient Greek off timetable, and take up individual classes and subjects which don't fit into my class schedule. It's hard to imagine most schools going to such length for its individual students, and I'm grateful that Newhall does. In essence, I'm here talking to you today as someone who's not only attended this school, but has lived here for over half my life. It's been fundamentally shaped by my experiences at Newhall. If there was one thing I'd like all of you to take away from today, is that this school supports the individual, offering every possible opportunity to help each person find their interests and, most importantly, their own voice. I walked into Newhall scared, shy, without any real idea of who I was. And now, a decade later, I'm preparing to leave confident, well-educated, and with a sense of purpose and determination to tackle whatever the future holds. On my first day here, I could never have dreamed that I would be standing here, talking to you today as deputy head girl of my school. If I could achieve something which seems so impossible, just imagine what anyone could achieve here at Newhall. Thank you.